It's the morning weather briefing. This is for Tuesday, the 19th of March. It's the first day of spring, the vernal equinox tonight, shortly after 10 o'clock Central Time, approximately 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness today. And it's a cold start. We are below freezing in many areas. We'll check the numbers here in just a second. This is the upper air look. We have a trough on the East Coast that delivered the cold air we feel today. And again, an upper low is hanging back over the southwest United States. That's the radar composite early this morning. And things are quiet across much of the nation. The closest rain down in parts of South Florida. Now, these are not lows this morning. The numbers will probably come down a few more degrees. These were captured about 5 o'clock. We typically see uh, lows around 630 this time of the year. So we've got about 90 more minutes to see the uh, lows for the date. But it's cold enough. We have 25. The cold spots at 5 o'clock. Haleyville and Gadsden with 25. Aniana, 26. Jasper, 27. Cullman, 28. Birmingham, the, the official airport observation at freezing, 32 there. Huntsville, 30. And I'll post the long list of lows from the official sp- locations, and the uh, sky watchers a little later this morning. Uh, The southern half of the state generally above freezing, but again, these numbers will be coming down. Uh, 38 for Dothan Mobile, 41. And uh, the watch warning map still reflecting the freeze warning for much of the state this morning. Otherwise, very quiet March 19th across the country, which is very odd. Typically, we have flooding, severe storms, tornadoes, snow, something going on across the country, but no severe storms expected today. There could be some thunder back in the southwest United States with that upper low that's spinning away there. Tomorrow, a couple of marginal risks over Texas and west Oklahoma. And on day three, which is Thursday, we have a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of southeastern Texas and southwest Louisiana. Here's a look at the rain for the next seven days. The heaviest rain expected to be a little west of Alabama. This is the rain valid through Tuesday morning of next week. In our state, the amount's mostly between one half and one inch. And the next chance of rain here will be late Thursday night and Friday. And probably another round of rain around Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Let's go through the dailies. Model fans, this is the GFS. This is the 06C run valid today at 4 The uh, trough is moving off the Atlantic coast. We have the upper low that's still hanging back around Phoenix. And today will be sunny and cool. 50s for North Alabama, 60s for the southern counties of the state. Tomorrow now in the morning, again, we might see some of the colder pockets near freezing to start the day. Lows in the 30s and 40s. The high will be close to 70. So the warming trend begins tomorrow afternoon. The day will be sunny. This is Thursday. Alabama still dry. Rain breaks out to the west across parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma. And that will probably creep in here late Thursday night after midnight. And then Friday looks to be a rainy day. Uh, No severe storms. The surface low is near Dothan. So we will be uh, fairly cool with temperatures in the low and mid 60s with periods of rain throughout the day there might be a rumble of thunder but again no concerns with severe weather for the state and that rain should be ending Friday night and Saturday looks good as the weekend begins the sky becoming mostly sunny the high will be in the 60s for much of the state a bit below average for this time of the year lows down in the 40s over the weekend Sunday looks good, a sunny day after starting off the day in the 40s. We might see some 30s for the colder pockets. The high Sunday should be in the low 70s, low to mid 70s for most spots. Very comfortable afternoon. Let's go to next week. Monday, we're still dry. Rain breaks out to the west, and this is a week from today, Tuesday, March 26th. Got a big trough approaching. The surface low is pretty far to the north between Des Moines and Chicago. And you can see a band of showers and storms down through West Tennessee, Mississippi, and Louisiana. And it looks like that will be coming in here Tuesday night into Wednesday. It sure looks like the better dynamic forcing could be a bit north of here. And the instability values look fairly meager at this point. 
So I'd say the severe weather risk at the moment looking relatively low, but understand this is seven to eight days out. This could easily change. But again, it looks like a next chance of rain there will be uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday, March 28th. A zonal flow and a dry air mass. Here's a look at rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days. This is valid through April 3rd. The mean between three and four inches, the green line on that chart. Temperatures for the next 10 days or so. We've got 58 today, then back around 70 tomorrow and Thursday. And then Friday, the high dropping to 63. That'll be kind of a cool, rainy day. And then a dry weekend, 65 on Saturday, 71 on Sunday. And low 70s for much of next week. And the latest 8 to 14 day guidance. This is for March 26th through April 1st. And you can see temperatures for the western two-thirds of the country below average, maybe a bit below average here. And above average up in the northeast. So... Full disk satellite view. This was yesterday. What do you notice about the Terminator? That's the line that separates daylight from darkness. It is running north to south, parallel to the lines of longitude, which means we are at spring. Again, the vernal equinox around 10 o'clock tonight, about 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. Pensacola Beach yesterday. Here they come. The Blue Angels. Coming back home after an air show. It's outstanding. If you've never seen the Blue Angels standing on the beach like that, it's just a great show. And speaking of the Gulf Coast, they enjoyed a really nice sunset last night. That was the view from Panama City Beach. And if you look carefully, you'll see a sun dog to the right of the sun. This was taken down at Destin. Good looking sunset there. Mobile, Alabama. Great shot. You can see the battleship USS Alabama, the skyline of Mobile, and the moon looking awfully good last night. So today I'll be headed up to the Tennessee Valley, going to Meridianville, to Lynn Fanning Elementary School for a weather program there. Tomorrow, the Harris Early Learning Center in Birmingham. That's a great ministry there, great facility downtown. Looking forward to seeing the kids there. Thursday, Boaz High School. Arr, the Pirates. That'll be a lot of fun. And Friday, it's Werner Elementary School in Tuscaloosa. I always enjoy coming back to Werner. I attended fifth and sixth grade there as a child many, many, many years ago. And Saturday, it's a book signing in St. Clair County coming to Asheville. The Pig, the Piggly Wiggly. I love hanging out at the Piggly Wiggly. We're going to be there between 1030 and 130. All the books, the hats, the shirts, the cool weather stuff. And uh, uh, my mom is from Asheville originally. In fact, my uncle was the mayor a long time ago. He was the banker. My grandfather was the probate judge of St. Clair County. So I always love coming back to seeing my friends in Asheville. So again, that's Asheville at the Piggly Wiggly. Saturday from 1030 until 130. And then Sunday, I will be speaking at the Goshen United Methodist Church up in uh, southern Cherokee County. That's always a very special place for me. It's, it's the 30th anniversary of that horrible, horrible tornado tragedy, the Palm Sunday tornado of 1994 that killed 20 people in that church during the morning worship service, during an Easter drama that morning. Uh, 10 children, 10 adults were killed in uh, just an unspeakable tragedy. And that place will always be kind of special to me and I've made some good friends there over the years and uh, really looking forward to that. So I'll be speaking. Kelly Klim will be back, who was the the minister of the church at the time. Uh, So again, that'll be a Sunday at the Goshen United Methodist Church. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.